Well, hello again. Here's another question for the five minute treatment. Uh, it's quite a contemporary one, I think. And it's this, is the queen above the law? Well, I never really thought too much about this until I received a comment on another video from a viewer raising this question. <clears throat> I mean, the fact is that Elizabeth's reign will end sometime soon and we'll have a new monarch. And so it's a suitable time to review our relationship with the sovereign, question the arrangements, and uh, okay, well, let's examine the position of those who say yes. The queen is above the law. What are the facts and the arguments for them? Well, first, there are some relatively unimportant, even trivial, trivial matters whereby the queen is indeed above the law. She doesn't have to possess a driver's license for some reason, not quite sure why. She does not need a passport. She's apparently the only person in the world that doesn't. Her driver is allowed to exceed the legal speed limit, assuming that it's necessary to do so. Uh, she can't be required to do jury duty. Um, she automatically has custody of minor grandchildren and can take them away from their parents if she chooses. I wonder, I wonder when that would happen and a few more things like that. But there are some more important aspects where she's uh, above the law. First, she cannot be prosecuted for a crime. If the queen were to murder someone and get caught cheating on her taxes, something like that, there's nothing we could do about it. The sovereign is immune from criminal prosecution. That's the law. Well, uh, the monarchy itself, including the queen, is exempt from freedom of information laws. This is quite important uh, as we rely on freedom of information procedures uh, to investigate malfeasance in public office. It's used a lot, uh, but to investigate royal finances is impossible. Not allowed. So, well, that's pretty Pretty, uh, pretty rough stuff there. So what about those who would say, no, the queen is not above the law? Well, first of all, they would say that the queen goes out of her way to make sure that she behaves totally in accordance with the law, even if she's not bound by it. For example, she pays some level of income tax voluntarily, even though not required to do so. In an odd situation, why isn't she required? <laughs> And I suspect she would refrain from murdering anyone. Um, second, the queen is not above the law in the most fundamental way possible because when you think about it, in Britain, uh, parliament is supreme. Uh, not only can parliament change whatever rules apply to her legal status, the parliament could even eliminate the monarchy. I suppose there are some uh, legal issues <laughs> involved there, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Okay, well, there are those arguments as well. So what is my take? Um, we've seen over the years a gradual erosion in the privileges and protections afforded to the monarch. The, these change, changes have been going on for a long time, steadily since the time of, I guess, Charles I. Uh, but what still remains is an important example of how the queen being above the law works against the interest of her subjects, and that is her ability to prevent anyone other than a closed parliamentary committee to investigate royal finances. And, and that's in none of our interest and that should be changed. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. If you like it, you the usual stuff. Please give me a like, subscribe, comment, notify, all that kind of thing. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.